Good morning, Grade 11 STEM students. Welcome to Quarter 3 Prelim Lesson 2 Discussion. For today, we will be discussing about the elements, mechanism, evidences, bases, and theories of evolution. First, let's begin with the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the students will be able to number one, describe general features of history on Earth, including the general acceptable dates and sequences of the geologic time scale. Wherein in this objective, we will be scrutinizing and we will be discussing about the Earth's history. Second, Explain the mechanism that produces changes in population from generation to generation. So that focuses on the evolution of mankind, specifically with the following idea. The idea of artificial selection, natural selection, genetic drift, mutation, and recombination. And number, number three, to show patterns of descent with modification from common ancestors to produce the or organismal diversity observed today. So we will be comparing the different modifications made from our, the common ancestors of different living organisms and then we will be observing how the different modification from the different ancestors uh, affect the current or the living, object, uh, the living organisms nowadays. And lastly, is to trace the development of evolutionary thought. So we will be tracing the history of evolution, starting from the different personalities, scientists, together with their different ideas. With that, without further ado, let's begin our discussion. First is the geologic time scale. Geologic time scale was introduced by Nicholas Steno. Wherein, according to Sir Nicholas, these refer to the slice of time. Wherein, slice of time, that simply means that with geologic time scale, it is subdivided into different time frame. Wherein, it refers to a system of chronological dating that classifies the geological strata. And it uses by biologies paleontologists, and other earth scientists to describe the timing, relationship, and event in geologic history. Wherein, here in geologic time history, there are different eras, such as the Precambian era, Cambian era, the prehistoric era, until such time na maabot natin yung current natin ngayon. Okay? So, wherein in geologic time scale, this is the time frame used to describe the prehistoric life. Okay. So, this was developed through the study and observation of the layers of rocks. When we talk about the layers of rocks, that is the rock strata. And the relationship as well with the time when different organisms appeared. So, when we talk about this geologic uh, time scale, it refers to the formation of rock layers with the remaining fossil fuels. And then, they will be identifying the origin of that specific organism. Like for example, during the Precambian era. So with the, with the observation of the rock strata and with the observation of the fossil remain in that rock strata, they will be able to identify what are, are the organisms that survived during those eras. This is an example of a geologic time scale. So here, for example, we have the Cenozoic era. So under the Cenozoic era, we have the period quartern quaternary and tertiary. So, that simply means that during the Cenozoic era, under quaternary period, there is the rise of the man. So, that is the time wherein man, according to geologic time scale, exists. So, from top to bottom, dun siya nangyayari na from pinaka-latest up to the pinaka-kauna-unahan -ka na pinaniniwalaan nilang pinagmulan ng mankind. Okay. So, wherein the formation of the Earth started 4.5 billion years ago, according to this one. Ayan. With the Hadean era. Okay. Ito yan. Okay. Highlight natin. Okay. This one. Is it with the Earth history? We believe and that the scientists believe that the Earth started 4.5 billion years ago. This one. Okay. So, that is the formation of the Earth. Followed by 4,000 million 
years ago that the Earth's crust had cooled enough to allow the formation of continents. So after uh, after several uh, million years ago, they believed that the Earth's crust already cooled and solidified, wherein there is the formation of the different continents. And then until such time na madevelop pataas yan, Okay. So, makikita ninyo years ago, bakit zero ito? Kasi ito yung ating current at present time. Wherein, this is known as the Cenozoic Era. Under Quaternary, there is the rise of the man. Next. Okay. Stop, look, and listen. Why do we need to stop? Because we need to pause for a while. And I'll be sharing a video for you to look and make sure to listen carefully. Okay, I will be sharing my screen.
That ends our discussion about the geologic time scale. Next meeting, we will be discussing about the different mechanism of evolution. See you with our next discussion. Good day.